With the holiday season coming up, table reservations at your favorite restaurant may not be so easy to come by. So how about a date night at home? Chef Sylvester Naya has come up with the perfect menu for a first date dinner or a romantic evening shared with your significant other. So let's get cooking. Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'll be preparing a butter chicken curry for you and I'm sure some of you guys want to know why butter chicken curry. It's also something I've done before. Uh, but today the butter chicken curry is quite special to me because it's what I ate with my wife on my first date with her. We're going to start by adding some of our dry spice. My pan's been preheated a little bit already. You don't want to add too many. As I always say, you don't want too many bombs in the dish. So what we want to do here is just let the aromatics come out of the spices. We're going to pop a few small knobs of butter in. Okay, so you can hear a nice slight sizzle there. So now all those natural aromas coming out of our seeds, I'm gonna just pop a little bit of oil into that. Just a few drops of oil, just so the butter doesn't get burnt. I'm gonna pop some onions in here now. Butter chicken's quite a quick dish, but also if you, if you burn anything, cause it's quite a creamy dish, you're gonna get the flavor all the way through. So you, you wanna cook on a lower temperature, not too hot. Give it a quick mix, spread the onions out a little bit. I'm gonna pop a bit of garlic in there. Not too much of garlic. I obviously was planning on giving my wife a kiss on our first date, so I know now not too much of garlic because you're gonna definitely taste that stuff when you, you know. So I'm gonna also give that a quick stir. Okay, so I'm gonna put some fresh coriander in. I'm just gonna chop some up. I'm just gonna make that into a little bit of a bowl so you get the leaves nice and blue so we can get some. Yeah, we're gonna pop that straight in. I don't want anything to get too dark because that's gonna change the flavor of my butter chicken completely and that's the last thing I want. I add my chicken now. So you're gonna spread the chicken out nice and evenly around so it gets some nice color on it, not too much color again. You're gonna let that go for about two to three minutes. I'm gonna add some of my chili powder in now. It's a mother-in-law masala, one of my favorite masalas because it's mixed with with everything, there's a bit of cumin, garam masala, and jeera powder in here as well. Nice quick mix. When is a good time to put in the tomato? When you start to choke a little bit. It's basically jam tomatoes blended down, nothing added into it, so it's not gonna change my dish in any way. So I don't wanna put too much of that in, because it's not a tomato and chicken curry, it is a butter chicken curry. I'm gonna give that a quick mix, let that go for about a minute or two. If you look into my pan, you'll see that there's nothing stuck to the bottom. I'm gonna pop some of my coconut milk in there now. Nice helping of coconut milk. Mellows out the spice as well, so not too, too heavy on the palate. It's a good soft touch to the taste, and then gives you a bit of a kick in the back. That's looking good. I'm gonna let that go for a little while, about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna put that on the side, and I'm gonna start getting ready with a delicious tiramisu. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of my mascarpone cheese into a nice mixing bowl. Quite an easy dish at home. You're basically gonna pop everything, make sure that it's mixed together so your mixture is quite uh, smooth. Remember, this is my take on a tiramisu and it is not a traditional tiramisu. So I'm gonna pop some egg yolks in there. So I've separated and beaten my egg yolks up a little bit. And this is just to set, as a work as a setting agent in the dessert. You're gonna add some whipped cream there. The cream has already been sweetened, so I'm not gonna add any sugar into this dish. You can add a, a creamy liqueur into it. I'm just gonna add a dash of coffee into that, just for the coffee flavor. Now I'm gonna squeeze some orange juice in there. I'm just gonna hold my hand up here so we've got no seeds in there. So I'm just gonna whisk that up. The idea is to make sure that your mixture is nice and smooth. You want to whisk this quite hard so you don't have any lumps of the cheese or the separated cream. You don't want to whisk it too much because you don't want anything to separate as well. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to soak my biscuits in some coffee. Also, the biscuits uh, has some sugar on it already. It'll add the sweetness to the dish. I'm going to literally drizzle the coffee over. Not too much, because I don't want the biscuits to break. I want it to hold its shape, but when you bite into it, it's gonna be soaked with the coffee. And I'm gonna pop my cream mixture into the fridge. 
My butter chicken's looking really good. I'm gonna give that a quick mix. I'm just gonna heat up some of my rice. So for my rice, I'm just gonna put a bit of butter into my pan. Nice medium heat pan. While that's melting down, I'm gonna add a bit of my dry spices, which is my traditional biryani mix. Very similar to something called a palau rice. I'm gonna add some fresh coriander to that. Get it quite finely chopped. Don't want too many big stems and leaves while you're eating the rice. Once that's in, nice quick mix there. It's gonna boost up my temperature a little bit. The rice has been pre-cooked already, so I'm just gonna pop that straight in. At this stage, you can add in anything. You could add in some mushrooms, you could add in some potato, you could add in uh, carrots, just to add a different flavor. But because my butter chicken is quite a powerful dish, I don't wanna do too much to the rice. I just want the butter and the rice to infuse a little bit so the butter soaks itself into the rice. Once that's done, I'm gonna start plating up. I'm gonna go straight in by adding some of my nice rice. You can see the rice has a nice color on it. I'm gonna garnish that with some nice fresh coriander. There you have it, that's beautifully plated. I'm gonna start with my tiramisu now. I'm gonna basically pop those straight onto the plate. I'm gonna put some of the tiramisu cream over there. Okay, then you wanna just do a slight touch of coffee over that. Then you're gonna do another layer of the boudoir biscuits. Finish that off with a little bit more cream over. I'm just gonna cut a nice piece of the skin of my orange. And I need a really sharp knife because you don't want to go into the, the flesh of the orange for this. I'm gonna curl that up and we're gonna pop that straight onto the tiramisu cream. I'm gonna grab some cocoa powder and then I'm gonna garnish that with some beautiful, pretty flowers. With something spicy and something sweet, Sylvester has captured the essence of the perfect first date.